Hey guys, Inspector Daggett here. It is March, it is snowing in Chicago, and I'm here talking to you about air conditioning units. So you may be wondering why, Gary, are you talking to us about air conditioning units when we don't need them for months? That is a great question. What I want to talk to you guys today about is R22 refrigerant. And that is the coolant that is compressed inside of an air conditioning unit that actually creates the cooling. Well, R22 refrigerant is being phased out in January 1st of 2020. It will be illegal in the United States. We can't import it, can't sell it, can't manufacture it. So what does that mean for you? Well, that means you want to find out if you have a unit that uses R22 or R410A, which is the replacement. So I want to talk to the experts today um, about R22 and what it means for you if you have it. And then a little bit later, I'm going to show you how to identify if your unit has R22 refrigerant or if you're okay with the R410A. All right, guys, I'm here with Jeff O'Sullivan with Comfort Heating and Air. And uh, Jeff, how long have you been in the business? Oh, about 35 years. 35 years. So you've seen a couple of units in your day. Just a few. Yeah. Um, so Jeff, one of the things we're talking about um, Currently, as an inspector, I'm seeing a lot of air conditioning units that are coming up with the R22 refrigerant. And uh, as you know, the R22 is getting ready, ready to be uh, discontinued January 1st of right. 2020. It's illegal in the U.S. We can't import it. Uh, we can't have it manufactured here. Uh, what are some of the implications for a homeowner who has an R22 unit um, in place? First of all, an R22 unit is probably a minimum of 10 years old. Okay. So that's the air conditioner is approaching the end of its... Um, life yeah that's one of the things um, one of the other things if there's nothing if you don't have a leak or anything in the system mm -hmm. it's fine just okay. leave it alone until you're ready to replace it yeah if for some reason it develops a leak the compressor goes bad then at that time you're gonna have to replace the system the outside unit and the inside coil yeah and that's because you can't Fix the leak. You could fix the leak, but you don't have the R22 anymore have available. The yeah. uh, um, and this only applies to the R22 because the replacement is R410A, which right. is a newer environmentally safe or more right. environmentally safe. Um, so as long as the unit itself is working or even if the electric fan goes bad, that's not a big deal. But once it leaks that Freon out or a compressor goes bad or an A coil goes bad, it's pretty much going to be time it, to go. It's time. Okay. It's time to replace. And what would you say is kind of the starting point of a replacement for an air conditioning unit? You know, air conditioners are size according to people's houses, so okay. the price kind of reflects that. But you mm -hmm. can start as low as in the low three thousands and go, you know, go upwards from there. Okay. All right. And do you recommend when it's time to replace the air conditioning unit? I know some people will um, say, "Well, we can save you a little bit of money by not replacing the lines or the A coil." My experience has been that it's usually a good idea, but from your perspective, as someone who's worked on these things for 30, 35 years, do you just do the whole thing? Do the whole thing. Um, the coil is automatic. You have mm -hmm. to replace the coil when okay. you replace from R22 to 14 refrigerants. It's still matched. There's going to be products left inside, so you need to change that. The line set, the copper that connects the inside to the outside, mm -hmm. sometimes those are buried in walls, yeah. so we can't replace them. So they have a product that we flush out, cleans them all out, and then we're able to use them again. Gotcha. Okay, great. Well, I really appreciate your time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys exactly how to tell by looking at your unit if you have R22 or if you're safe with the R410A. And uh, Jeff, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you. And if you get... Okay, so when you're looking for what refrigerant your unit has, what you want to do is you want to find this manufacturer's label. It can be in different places. Sometimes it's at the bottom where the cooling lines go in. Sometimes it's right on the side here. Um, but what you're looking for is you're, you're looking for the part that says factory charge. And it's either going to say R22 or R410A. There's another refrigerant out there that is not as common. I believe it's 97. Um, and that's okay as well. But you're looking to see if you have this R22. If you can't find that anywhere on there, what you can also do is look up the date of manufacture of your unit. You can also put in the model number and Google will bring up all the information about that model. If you can't find that, you probably want to have an HVAC person take a look at it. If you have an old round unit like this, um, it's typical that that one is going to be pretty old. If it's more than 10, 15 years old, it's going to be R22. That was the standard of the time. Uh, but that's how you look it up, and if you do have it, wouldn't be a bad idea to get an HVAC person out to take a look at the unit in the summertime, make sure it's uh, functioning properly, and give you an idea of what they think they're um, expecting the life to be remaining on that unit. So I hope this helps you guys and uh, that keeps you from being surprised if you do have the R22 refrigerant and you need some maintenance in the future and you come to find out that 
Uh, surprise, you have to replace your unit. Hopefully this will avoid that situation. I want to say thanks again to the guys over at Comfortmate Heating and Air. And if you guys have any questions about HVAC, feel free to put a comment below, send me a uh, message directly, or you can even get a hold of the guys over at Comfortmate and they can help you out with any needs that you have. Thanks again, and thanks for watching.